So the next prop that I'm going to build for Sons of Roman, Sons of Vikings is a Norman helmet. And what I've got here is a piece of a barrel. This is a barrel band that, you know, holds all the barrel staves together. Uh, and basically I'm just going to cut off a chunk of this and this is going to be the headband of the helmet. Just take the, that piece and over the dishing stump and curve it up. This is what the barrel band looks like. Uh, I soaked it in vinegar for a couple of days to take off all the rust. And then I've got a piece of 22 gauge sheet metal that I'm going to use to make the rest of the components for the shield. This piece right here is going to be the central uh, strip for the dome of the shield, and I'm going to cut that out right now. Okay, so I've got the the entire helmet frame riveted together and so now I'm going to make the plates that go in between here so I've got more 22 gauge sheet metal and I got cardboard um, cutouts that correspond with each panel uh, so I've got that laid out on here with a little bit of extra room so I'm basically just gonna cut those out and then dish out the shape There you go. Something like that. That's what it's going to look like. So basically now, just drill out the holes and rivet it in. So here's what the uh, finished helmet cap looks like. Um, and all the little individual plates are riveted in there with my uh, carpet tacks. And uh, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take some of my remaining sheet metal and make a uh, nose guard piece that I'm going to just attach to the front of the helm here. Um, and then after that, I'm going to secure my leather helmet liner to the inside of the cap, uh, just like that. And that should really be about it, and it'll be done. So here's what the uh, finished helmet looks like. Uh, I've got the liner secured in there. These these two straps are what hold it onto your head. So that way I'm able to cinch it under the chin. Keeps the helmet secure, keeps it from falling off. And you got the nose guard there, protects the nose. And uh, it's actually uh, pretty comfortable. I'm not, not getting any sound vibration or anything like that in there. This really doesn't affect my uh, my vision. It is kind of odd, but uh, all accounts, helmet came out pretty well. So I've got two holes drilled by each panel there, and then one piece of leather lace that goes through and holds the helmet liner to the brow band. So that way, as you're wearing it, your head is sitting uh, on here instead of on the actual helmet itself and then also it, there's a little bit of airspace between the liner and the helmet so uh, you know in theory if you took a blow to the head the energy from the sword or axe or whatever wouldn't be transferred just straight to your head and give you a concussion. So this style of helmet is called a spangen helm because it's all riveted together out of all these individual pieces. That style of helmet uh, came about in the late Roman era 
uh, and the migration period of the Germanic peoples. And so that was a, that helmet style was used through the Viking Age, then right up into the end of the 11th century, which is when my movie is set. So I feel like this is an appropriate helmet for the film. Uh, if you look at the Bayeux tapestry, uh, all the Normans and Englishmen, or excuse me, Anglo-Saxons in the tapestry, in the Battle of Hastings and all that, have got helmets that look similar to this in construction. Um, and the helmet that came after this is what's called the nasal helm, which is something that's constructed out of one piece of forged steel. So if you look at the Bayou Tapestry, pretty much every warrior has got a helmet on, and they're kind of a combination of nasal helms, spangin helms. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what type of construction they are, and they're actually quite colorful, which is which is interesting. But uh, so I feel that this is an appropriate helmet for the time period I'm portraying in Sons of Roman, Sons of Vikings, and I think it fits real well with the rest of my Norman kit here. Rolling. We actually started shooting the film, and on one of the days we got a little bit of rain on us, so the helmet has got a few uh, rust spots and all that on there, but uh, it just kind of adds to the character of the helmet, and I gotta say it wasn't uncomfortable to wear. Uh, we don't want to wear it all the time, but I think it looks pretty good on the film. Thanks for watching, I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching this series on making the uh, some of these props for Sons of Roman, Sons of Vikings. Uh, if you want to check out the film, there will be some links in the description box below. If you want to learn more about Sons of Roman, Sons of Vikings, or even contribute to the project. So again, thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.